Daddy? Hello there guys and welcome back to that anxious gamer. We are going to be starting a blind playthrough of Planet of Lana. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. So without any further ado, let's get into the game. Okay guys, it looks like we're back in control. Graphics kind of remind me a little bit of uh, like Zelda, uh, like Wind Waker, kind of the shell shaded uh, kind of graphic style, which is pretty cool. Let's see. down definitely a, a pretty cool visual style okay. reminds me of kind of like layman 2d platforming very cool okay oh, uh, well I guess I didn't get that let's find back up Maybe that was maybe that, that was intended. Very glad to have you guys along for this journey, and I'm very excited to try this game out and uh, see what it's like. I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I'm um, I'm a big fan of platformers since I was a kid. Sneak past this lady with the meat cleaver. So it looks like there's gonna be some stealth elements in the game. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> That's not a little friend here. Oh, okay. Well, missed that jump. That's okay. like the background your music it's very light it's very uh, upbeat really cool <laughs> so it sounds like Lana and Elo are kind of our two main characters here I like the colors in the background I like how the art is depicted on screen I think it's really cool Jump up with our friend here. Okay. I see. Maybe we have to use the cart. Maybe we push the cart. Yes. Okay. How does this. Can we push it? Nice. There we go. I'm using a uh, PS5 controller, so the controls don't exactly uh, map. <laughs> so that's why I was a little confused about the X button there. Lighting's getting a little bit more subtle. It looks like we're going in the evening time. Ha, ha, ha. 
We see two glaives. Is this the glaives of our parents? Uh, is it Lana's parents? Is it Elo's parents? I guess we're gonna find out. I think there's a lot of uh, show don't tell in this game, which is really really cool. Wind is kicking up, so I'm thinking something's gonna happen, and we see we see some like meteors or shooting stars in the distance, which. I'm not sure in this world is this normal, or is this some sort of event that's going to be happening, because I'm seeing a lot of meteorites in the sky. Yeah, this is definitely not normal. So we got like a Mass Effect Reaper thing going on here. Pretty cool. Did not expect this. Again, guys, I'm going into this completely blind. So I really had no... I just got recommended this game, but I had no uh, information about it. But that looks like it's just the edge of the cliff. Can we run? I guess this is our max speed. Yes. I like how our character's like looking right to left. Obviously the best one just got captured, so it is not good times. See, we crouch in the grass here. So it looks like there's definitely gonna be some stuff gameplay here. But yeah, it's got a real like old school Wayman feel, kind of uh, like with the motion controls. And the art style to me is definitely like very cell shaded, uh, kind of Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker kind of feeling. Robots have pretty much destroyed almost everything. And I'm assuming either captured or killed a bunch of people. Uh, so they're definitely capturing people 100%. Just from what I see, that so everybody is being taken, everybody's being captured, and uh, it looks like we are like on a like a very rural agrarian world that looks like mainly like fishing villages, farms, very low tech, and then whoever's invaded us is obviously at a considerable higher tech level. Again, kind of getting that Mass Effect Reaper vibe.
with this guy. AI are pretty observant. I mean, it does not take much to get spotted because I felt like I was outside of its vision range there. I like how you have to like pull, and there's like a little bit of uh, ooh, what are these eyes in the darkness here? This looks kind of creepy. Is that bats? really like the physics based gameplay, you can kind of feel the rope. It's got a very uh, Skyrim Oblivion kind of uh, shooting the bucket with arrows feel. Let's see here, let's get up here. I would love uh, to hear some comments guys, I just want to make sure the audio balance and everything and everything is good. And uh, please tell me if you're liking this video and I would really appreciate that trying to make content that uh, appeals to a wide range of people, uh, especially people with anxiety conditions or disabilities, because um, that personally touches me personally, since I have several of these. Really want to find our friend Elo here. I feel like the game emotionally pulls you in. Poor Lana seems totally exhausted here. I think just, you know, the emotional... Okay. Hello. Looks like we have a cutscene. Hello. splash rain for the game but I was just saying the emotional uh, the emotional weight of having your best friend taken away your village destroyed your people basically being captured uh, Lana's been through a lot that day so it makes sense that she is just completely exhausted and collapses and hopefully we're gonna have some way to help our friend and uh, find find Elo Something's here. I don't think it's Elo, but what are we going to find? Elo! So it looks like on Lana's world, it's very undeveloped. It's it's definitely in a uh, pre-industrialized society. Oh, looks like we missed that jump. It's kind of uh, deceiving because compared to like Mario or like Rayman or other platformers, you really get that feeling of you know Lana's just a, a little kid, and uh, so the jump distance is not very much. So you got to really time your jumps carefully. Which I think is good world building and, and kind of good characterization. Who 
is this? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I was expecting that to be friendly. I guess I was very wrong. So that's somebody we need to avoid. Okay. Oh, he sees us. Okay, that's probably... Okay, yep. I see. So it's definitely something you cannot run, you cannot fight in this game. You gotta avoid. Oh, okay, he still sees me even there. Wow, okay. Actually quite surprised. The view distance oh okay. It still got me. Okay. Okay, let's be more careful. So the view distance in this game is actually kind of surprising. These AI are smart, the enemies are smart, and you have to be careful. Which is good. I like that a game doesn't dumb down its content, like it's actually forcing you to play intelligently. Okay, so let's just be careful. Okay, now we should make it, because even if he sees us here, we should definitely be able to grab this ledge. We almost had the ledge last time. I think if I had done it a little bit better, I could have had it. Okay. Ooh, that was kind of... That was close. But yeah, I love the vistas. I love the backdrops, the wildflowers, the birds in the distance. You see that, like, it's like a 2D, but you definitely have, like, they really put a lot of work in this. Okay, so we got some platforming here. Looks like, okay, those, okay. So I think I need to go to the right here, but I just want to make sure that there's nothing. Some some of these platformers you can like climb in a third dimensional direction, if that makes sense. Which I think is going to be how this game is. Okay, so let's climb this box. Okay, so we can't do anything there. We can't do here, so we're going to have to push the box. Okay, I think I get what I need to do here. Kind of used to in a lot of games you push the box, but actually in this game you kind of pull, if that makes sense. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Now, can I grab the box from here? What am I going to do here? So, we got some platforming here. Maybe now we jump here. And we jump up here. I see. There's another box over here. Okay. Interesting puzzle gameplay. I like this. Okay. I think I get what we need to do here. Let's pull this box over here. I'm up here. Now we need to grab this box. Oh, can we not move it? Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, so we need to pull this off. Okay, so now we jump up here. here where we can climb up and now we pull this over so it won't be overweighed that should get us should get us up hopefully let's see if this works out nice yeah we did it Lana did it I did it I'm super happy guys that was cool I know it seems like a small thing, but sometimes it's the small things that really, really make an impact. We're gonna get you, little Alana. We're gonna, we're gonna find him together. Okay, now I hear, I hear one of those pigs, so that makes me a bit nervous. What? This is just a beautiful overview, but it looks like the way down is actually this way. 
Okay. So how am I gonna sneak past this guy? Actually, maybe I don't sneak past this guy. Maybe I was supposed to jump? Hmm. I feel like that's too simple. Maybe I get him to run at me. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Because I feel like I'm okay. Okay, okay. Now that am I supposed to run? But I don't feel like I can make that jump in any case, even in the best case scenario. Hmm. This is interesting. Okay, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's try to. Draw him over there. Okay. Can I... Okay. Oh, just made it. Wow. I don't want to say that's like frame perfect. I don't want to like exaggerate it. But that is pretty tight timings that you have to do for that jump. You see these little creatures nearby, which is really cool. Is there anything in here, like collectibles or anything? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. There's actually stuff back here as well. Oh, wow. So maybe this is a collectible. Looks like this is some... Something that we can find in the world. And I'm assuming these are just little collectible chunks. You know, most of these games have some collectible element. And I think that's really cool. I don't know if we're supposed to wake this guy. Oh, we can just move him. Okay. Alright. So. I see. Interesting. Okay. Very cool. Make do a uh, little shelf there for Lana. Okay, and just got a save point there, so I'm gonna stop uh, the video here and then you, we'll cut directly to the next part. Thank you guys so much for being with me on this journey. I really would appreciate it if any of you guys leave comments or subscribe. It means the world to me as a small YouTuber. Thank you for joining me in this Planet of Lana playthrough, and I can't wait to see you in part number two.